because someone definitely said Badgerak Terevich. I was like, mm, that's phonetic, I guess. Yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> Welcome to Dan O'Brien's awesome drive to the match. I'm Jeff Lemieux, my passenger today, the Milwaukee Messi, Esmir Badakterovic, yes, that nickname courtesy of Henry Kessler. Yes, sir. How do you feel about uh, the nickname? I'll take it. I mean, having been named after Messi, I'll take it any day. So. Lofty aspirations, but I like it. <laughs> uh, well, Esmir, you just recently turned 18, so happy belated birthday. Thank you. I believe you turned 18 while you were in LA with the team, correct? Yeah, yep. So what does that look like? Was the team able to do anything for you? What's an 18th birthday look like when you're on the road with a professional soccer team? Um, it's pretty normal. I mean, we just have our team meals, uh, you know, the day before, I think my birthday was the day before the game or two days before the game. And uh, yeah, just, they all sing happy birthday to me uh, at the dinner table and I have to give a speech. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. How'd the speech go? Did you nail it? Of course I did, of course. I'm not really, uh, I'm not really shy in front of the guys that much anymore, so they went pretty well. Well, you can't be when you're 18 years old. Yeah, of course, exactly. Well, at 18, if I'm being honest, you're actually a little old for this Reds midfield. Yep. Uh, you started this past weekend alongside 18-year-old Jack Piniotu, 17-year-old Noel Buck. He doesn't even turn 18 until next week, but like, it's a really cool story, right? You guys started together in the academy. You played a bunch of games together last year with Reds 2 you start a first team game together now. So for you, what's it been like having those guys on this journey with you and having each other to kind of support yourselves through this process? Yeah, it's good. I think we all we all push each other uh, to be better every day. And um, yeah, talking about the game, I mean, going into it, I don't think any of us were really that nervous because we all knew that we were just playing with our friends. So it was a really good experience. It, it does seem like that's what all of the veteran guys have said, is that even though all you guys are 17, 18 years old, there's no shortage of confidence amongst that group. I mean, where does that kind of come from? Uh, well, personally, I, I think I've just always been like that. But, uh, you know, I think we all we all push ourselves every day. Uh, we're not really afraid to, to mess up or to, you know, make mistakes. So, and then I think we all have a really good support system because all the veterans, all the older, older players uh, help us every day and, you know, encourage us to do more. So, yeah. And then finally, during some preseason content capture this year, one of the questions all the guys got asked was, which teammate is most likely to watch their own highlights? Yeah. Your name came up a lot. Yeah. I just want to get your response to that. I mean, it's funny, but I mean, it's just because I do a lot of tricks and training and stuff and in games. So I don't know. I just like to, uh, yeah. I'll take it. I mean, if you got the highlights, right? You can't watch your own highlights if you don't exactly. have the highlights. Exactly, yeah, exactly. That's probably the issue with a lot of other guys. They mm -hmm. don't have the highlights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the nutmeg in Montreal last year, yeah. it's not going to watch itself. Yeah, yeah, of course. Someone's got to watch it. Well, Esmir, really appreciate you taking the time, man, and uh, best of luck Saturday night against New York City. Thank you. Appreciate it. This has been Dan O'Brien's awesome drive to the match. Keep it at awesome.